we can get very catched on by this tune folks because it's very nice hello everyone my name is Flair Blitz here and welcome to our grand adventure of Dreamy Mary now this is a game that I believe that was released about one or two years ago I believe do quote me down in the comments below if I'm wrong but this looks to be a very very sort of peachy like game with a lot of dream elements and horror elements Despite the childlike uh, graphics and pale colours, the wand there is hollow within. So, even though it looks like it's suitable for children, please be aware that this is not. So, without further ado, let us get into the game. Mithra Trees. Hello? Mari? Always remember that you can do anything in your dreams if you try. If you believe there is a will, there is a way, folks. Don't give up on your dreams just simply because you think they're out of reach. The more out of reach they are, and you achieve those dreams, the more proud you'll be at the end of the day. You can change your life through your dreams. You have that kind of power. Find the key that turns dreams into reality, and the entire world will open up for you. But what about for everyone else? But Mari, be careful. If you fall too far into your dreams, you won't ever wake up. Thank you. Thank you very much for that. Maybe that is a road in which we follow down. Okay, <laughs> welcome to a dream. Please adjust your volume until you can hear the radio voice. Control Z to confirm, exit, cancel, arrow keys, movement. Say, oh, good. Save, and then return to title screen is A. It's not hugely convenient to have A and S together. So A is to return to title screens because you could accidentally click on A where you wanted to click on S. So... I'll make sure that I prioritise myself I don't click on A by accident. Uh, middle finger S, uh, second finger to the left on A. Good. Oh, this looks wonderful. Oh, well done, Achi. Who's the developers? I, I forgot now. Achi and Trash. This is a great game. Great game so far. And I am not even into any huge lames into the game as well. This is a weird painting. Are we Mary? Are we Mary? I heard there was a limitation thing to this game where they originally created using RPG Maker Lite and then they moved over to VX Ace but they still had the limitations of the Lite version within it. So I believe there are some a few limitations such as events, maps, Graphics, I believe. I'm not quite too sure, but these graphics are wonderful enough. Take the flower. Yeah, she's got the white lily. And now we've got a lovely Mary bar up here. The door's locked. Oh no! Oh, already we have encountered off. The two wizard petals. So is that a volume test? There's chocolate. There's a chocolate on the bed. Yeah. Oh, there's something hard. It's oh, yeah, a key. Got the golden leaf key. Actually, think about it now. Cocoa does come from plants, so it wouldn't be totally cringy to the fact that we encountered a leaf type object inside chocolate. Use the key on the door, most certainly, because we want to advance through the game, and without using the key, we won't be able to. Okay, let's go through. Yay! Wow, they open sideways. That's brilliant. So wonderful. So pink. So lovely. There's a large white door. You can hear something humming in the room behind it. Maybe we shouldn't enter there. There's a large blue door. You can hear someone reading out aloud. I was about to say out loud. But again, it would still make perfect sense nonetheless. There's a large orange door. You can hear someone giggling behind it. Someone giggly. Oh, I love this multi-layered concept with the graphics. So it's like, 
Sometimes we go in front of certain graphics, and other times, like this pillar, we go behind it. There's a lovely 3D element to that as well. The only other game I've seen that has that sort of um, mechanic behind it is a currently developing game called Melting Moon. And that also has like a multi-tiered uh, element to it. Okay, so there, there's a door there, but we don't know how to progress through. Can hear someone giggling. So, where do we go? Is it a matter of needing to be able to listen to something? Ah, we can enter through here. Good. The statue has an engraving on its foot. The red fruit is death's temptation. Okay, thank you very much for that. We should be sure to have that on board when we progress throughout the game. There's an empty podium. And another empty podium. Oh look, another empty podium. And this one here? The statue is an engraving on its foot. The gold fruit is a prize for the winner. So the red fruit is death's temptation and the gold one is a prize for the winner. Okie dokie. Hey there, lovely rabbit. Can I speak to you? Oh, hello. Oh, my. Hello there, Mary. Okay, we are Mary. I think we knew we was Mary, but just to make sure, we got confirmation, folks. Hmm, how do I know you? Why, that's silly. Are you saying you don't remember me? Um, yeah. Oh, my. Oh, my. Well, you were very small when we first met. It's no wonder. Oh, I see so. Memory, so Mary must have dreamt of it of this rabbit when she was younger. So therefore, it probably would be wise to think that she probably wouldn't be able to remember. My name is Bonita. I hope I pronounced that right, Bonita. I'm the maid of your dreams, Tiki. That sounds like a very, very, very. <laughs> it sounds very suspicious. If you don't remember me, I bet you don't remember anyone else, do you? That's all right. To get started, why don't you go visit Pun Greendell's Greendell in the next room or the next door? Okay, dokie, we'll do that, folks. We'll do that most certainly. We'll do that. Uh, we'll save first. It's a good idea to save. Save as much as often, much as possible. And, it's only, and if it's only in certain destinations of which we can save, but this one we can save as many times as we like, then save as much as you can. If you feel like there's a door in front of you and you think it's going to go somewhere dangerous, then I would recommend saving the game. Where the Wild Things Are by Murash Sandak. And also, I've, I've heard that this game also... It might have some reference in by uh, of other things in the RPG Maker Hobby universe, but I'm not quite too sure. Alice in Wonderland by Lewis Carroll. Hello, good sir. Mary, is it you? Why, what a surprise. It's been years, hasn't it? You've certainly grown since we last met. Would you like to read some books? Feel free to look around. This is your dream after all. You ought to say hello to Foxheen when you're done. Or when you're done, she'll be ecstatic to know that you're here again. So toddle along now. Thank you very much, sir. I don't know why I've given him such a gentleman sort of accent. The Velveteen Rabbit by Marguerite Williams. My English is not very good. So that in that case. It would be the case where I pronounce, oh sorry, I pronounce certain names wrong, and other times very badly wrong. So don't hurt me for that, please. There is a blue book with a girl and a pig on the cover. Charlotte's Web by E. B. White. Green book with a tree and a boy on the cover. The Giving Tree by by Shel Shel Silverstein. Silverstein. There we go. I just noticed there's a spider on the top left. There's a white book with talking animals on the cover. Assaults Fables. Fables. Okay. Let me just have a little look, glance at the graphics, because this looks wonderful. Golly. Hello. 
Hello. You seem to be Foxine. I shall say hello to you once I've done the investigations. It's getting dark outside, you can't see anything past the clouds. Is there anything of any secrets that this game is laying in wait that we may not expect? Hello? Mary? Mary, is that you? Wow, look at you. Growing up on me, huh, kid? Can't believe you haven't even stopped to visit these past years. You're not leaving again anytime soon, kiddo. Not if I can help it. You should go talk to Boras first. Then we can play some games together, like in the old days. Just go down the stairs at the end of the hall. You can't miss that door, it's the only one after mine. You say that with utmost confidence, Foxine, but I assure you that may well be something of a mess here. Yes, I'm glad we didn't get the option, but... This doesn't sound very nice. It feels like we're, in, we're going from the nice part of a dream to the horrific parts of a dream. Horrific as in, like, the horror elements come into play. What of this dreamy merry character? We do not know, but... One thing for certain is our protagonist is the silent type. Oh, Mary, sweetheart, you're back. I missed you, darling. Isn't this place beautiful? And it's all for you, dear. For tonight, why don't you go play with the others? We can have our own special time later, alright, sweetie? Are you serious? There's a door with four holes in it. Ah, maybe we've got to do something first in order to get those four holes filled. Maybe we've got to play with everyone. We'll start from... Actually, we'll see what's... See what's in here. Just in case. There's a big fluffy bed. So sweet. Why can't we go back... Can't we go back to bed? Maybe we can wake up in the real world. I don't want to visit... Actually, I do want to visit these horrors. That's the point of a game, Fox. That's the point of loving these games is to experience the horrors, get jump scared and... Just get terrified by psychological horror and whatnot. So can we play with you? Oh, Mary, welcome back. Are you having fun in your dream, T? Say, if you're not busy, could you help me? I just can't figure out how to arrange these statues. Yay, thanks so much. You see, there's actually a story behind these statues. Two goddesses, two goddesses fell in love with the same man and they've spent years fighting for him. One of the goddesses was the queen of the underworld. The other was the goddess of love. Please help me show this story with these statues. Okay. Wait. Well, this looks really good. You did a great job, Mary. You really have an eye for... I thought it had to do something with the arrangements in which the statues look at when the other four statues look towards the middle one. So, in this case, I did one that was facing towards the right and the left, one that's facing towards the left and the right, and the, one, and the, and the man who's in the middle. You really have an eye for things. I'll be sure to ask you if I need any more help. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much, little bunny rabbit. Wait, oh yes, it's S. It is glorious S for us, for our cause. So that's the first one done. So, have you got anything good, sir? Welcome back, Mary. Oh, so you managed to help Bun Bunida. That's very nice of you. Since you're here, would you mind lending me a hand too? Excellent. Thank you for your assistance, Mary. I read a book by an author named Williams a while ago. It was about a stuffed rabbit. Unfortunately, I can't remember what it looked like. Could you find it and tell me what colour it is? 
Um, ask for details. I read a book by William. William is a while ago. It's about stuff to have it. Okay. Describe a book. Oh, so you know what we got? Um, no. Why? No, I don't think that's quite why. Perhaps it's another colour. Okay, so we need a book by Williams. He webs. Oh, somewhere in here there is something. If you're going to reference about books, then it's definitely very important. Well, very simple actually. Brown book. Ah, it's yellow. So I did get the first letter right. Yay! Uh. Oh yes, extra backspace. We've got not yellow. It's yellow. It's yellow, man. Oh, you're right. Excellent work, Mary. There are so many books to enjoy. What a time to be alive. Maybe one day. You're right. A book of your own, sir. And... That's where we're going to leave it for today, folks. I hope you enjoyed this as much as I have. I'm loving this so far. And hopefully you guys will be enjoying this as much as I am. In the near future. So, take care of yourselves, folks. And we shall see each other on the next time of Dreaming Mary. Have a great day and take care of yourselves.